We also have a guide out here, which does the exact same thing as the guide in there. It just creates a line for us to draw on. So on. And I'm gonna clear that and look now at our perspective rulers. In perspective, if you are not familiar with it, it's a subject unto itself, but it's basically what allows us to create that illusion of depth in our images as though the lines are kind of receding into the background. As if you look in like on a horizon or in, in down any street, you'll see the lines are kind of converging and uh, this, there are books, entire books on perspective. It's a detailed topic, so I can't really explain how to do like detailed perspective in this, but let me show you the basics of how the tool works. It's down under guide and usually we're going to have, for example, a rough drawing or rough sketch of how we want something to look. For example, let me show you with a pen. I'm just going to actually, let me, yeah, let's do it with a pen. So it'll look rough so that I know approximately, let's say I have a, a box right here. I'm just going to do it freehand rather than using the ruler. And let's say I just kind of know that I have a box that's kind of receding like this. And I just know it's going to look kind of like this because I've, I've drawn enough boxes. So I have a general idea of how something recedes. Okay, so obviously this isn't very precise and I want to use a ruler if I want a nice looking box. So what I'm going to do is go to the perspective ruler and okay, so the first line I do is going to be one of the lines that's receding into the distance. So I'm going to use this line right here and I'm going to click and drag and I'm still holding it down and it lets me kind of create this long bar and I kind of make it basically line up with my line and then I release. And then with another line that's receding, I'm going to also click and line it up with this one. And then when I'm done, I release and I've created this perspective ruler with one point perspective, which basically means all the edges are, are receding towards that point. So that now when I uh, draw anything, it's going to, they're all going to, all the lines are going to recede toward that point. Let me uh, give you a new layer and change the color so you can actually see it. And I draw towards the back and the line is basically going to stay on that, that perspective ruler. Now this one, it started going to the left because basically the lines are either going to be going towards the ruler or they're going to be, uh, basically at a right angle to the page and it's going to allow me to draw down and left and basically back and forth, but it's not going to allow me to like draw a diagonal line right here. If I wanted to do that, I would just release the ruler for a minute or turn it off, what have you. But yeah, so you could draw your lot, your box by, you know, connecting your lines and I got a race. I'm not going to do this right now. Actually, I wouldn't do that. I'd go from here. But anyways, and it doesn't just uh, line up with these lines too, because it's basically every line that you draw now will be, you know, on that perspective ruler until you turn it off and so on. And you can see how it works. And like I said, this is not a perspective course, so you need to uh, kind of really look into perspective. There's one point perspective, two point perspective, and three point perspective, and you can do all three with this program. If I wanted to add another uh, perspective point, uh, let's say, let me clear this. Okay, so I have these, this perspective point. This is what we call the vanishing point where the lines converge, but I can have another one, for example, Go back to the perspective ruler and let's have a point over here somewhere. So I'm going to have two lines basically just shooting in that direction. And because I put this vanishing point higher, it changed this line, which is our horizon line, which is where the earth is. And it had to raise it to make these two match because our vanishing point is always going to be on the, uh, well, actually not always, but 
Um, it's kind of complicated, but usually if you're, if we're like in an outdoor scene, they're going to be on the same, uh, horizon line. So now we have these, uh, several perspective, uh, rulers that if you, you need to make sure that it's clear which one you're drawing on. <laughs> Let's see now. And so on. And this might be a case of where you would want to put these on separate layers if if you are getting confused and finding your lines not uh, going the right way that you want them to. But yeah. And you could even add, like I said, a third uh, perspective point by going back to the ruler. And you might do this if you're at the corner of a building and looking up at a skyscraper and looking down both streets. I'm doing this like really rapidly. So these are not... This would probably not be a good picture, but again, I'm just showing you how this tool works. Uh, check out some books on perspective and you'll get some practice. And, and like before you can go upward with this and so on. So the, pers the vanishing point for this is actually way up here off the page. So that's pretty neat. And we'll go into object selection, but later if you uh, press the O and click on these, you can actually, oops, press O, you can actually rearrange the vanishing points and so on. You can move these all around. And I'll save this later for, for uh, the next section when we talk about what snapping is, what the screen and purple lines are. But that is the perspective ruler.